Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers, and we've got an updated deck list today. Uh, so we're going to go over a few changes, some uh, interesting changes, uh, given some of the new 5-0s that have been happening in Popper lately with Naya Slivers. I'm uh, adhering to some of the changes, uh, keeping some of my own that I think are still more efficient. So we'll go through it really quickly. I almost cut one land. We're still going to run 20 lands for now. I'm almost tempted to cut one Blossoming Sands and just put in, like, another Lead the Stampede or another creature somewhere. Let me know what you guys think about that option. I've still got the 20 in right now, but the major changes that we've done is we've taken out the Bladebacks. We've put them into the sideboard. Uh, as of late, it's just become a body basically and hasn't been utilized because we're more than likely just swinging in for damage anyways um so blade back i think is going to be for the more grindy matchups tron and mono blue control where we're going to be going a bit longer or we can't break through a board or something uh so we're, we're putting all three in the sideboard and one of the things that we're replacing it with in the main deck is we're adding more hunters uh so we got three hunters in the main I believe uh, the person that just went 5-0 with Naya had four in the main. Um, I'm fine with just three. Uh, and we cut a striking to, to get rid of uh, another just non-essential one drop, basically. It didn't come around very often, and just a one-of isn't that effective anyways to draw into. Uh, so we have three hunters in the, in the main, and bladebacks are going to be in the sideboard. Uh, now, one of the other replacements for the Bladeback and the Striking is Sentinel Sliver. We're adding back in Sentinel Sliver, so creatures get Vigilance, Sliver creatures who control have Vigilance. Good body, and it does more of an effect in the uh, main game plan of the, the deck more than Bladeback right now, I think. So, this card will be getting switched out a lot of the time with the sideboard with Spinneret. Spinneret's back in the sideboard now. Uh, for our more grinding matchups as well against some flyers like the mono blue control uh, With all their flyers. We need to be able to block them at some point. Uh, so spinnerets back in the sideboard uh, Glad to see it back. I, I was kind of missing it. So we'll probably be swapping sentinel and spinneret back and forth uh, Other than that in the main deck everything's the same It looks pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with sentinel back in and we'll see how the hunters play out I'm not I've always been like not a huge fan of the hunter, but I can see how it can have more relevance now and do more work in in the game one over like a blade back and things like that. Uh, only other changes we made is we cut a couple cards. Um, we cut standard bearer. You know, for mono black control and stuff, we can beat it without standard bearer all day, and we don't see bogles a whole lot right now. And maybe that'll come back in if we start seeing Bogles more, I guess. But uh, I think we can do all right. In place of that, we've got the Prismatic Strands. It's good for Burn. It'll be good for Bogles uh, if we really wanted to do that. And uh, Flash It Back. Very nice card. So got a couple of these. Put them in the sideboard. Let me know what you guys think about the deck and the changes that we've made. I'm pretty excited to start playing with a revised version. We haven't revised it in a... <laughs> in a good long while so this is a revised version we're gonna run it see how it goes and uh yeah let's go find a match all right we got ourselves a match here against ribero we won the die roll so let's see what kind of a hand we can get a decently keepable hand we'll say yes to this and by decent i mean perfectly fine uh we will pass ash barons for our forest play plated viverland we'll see what our opponent's on and go from there. All right, so mono green, mono green, mono white, heroic. Ooh, false scourge. All right. Bink. Grab our forest. We grab a forest anyways. Okay, fair enough. We'll set up for a good gem hide turn. Be able to put, we'll just be able to empty our hand out basically if everything survives. Flying lifelink that's what we got the spinnerets for now. Start blocking some of these flyers. Thraben, sure thing. What else you got? Hmm. 
All right. Blocks. Just gonna pass here, or are you gonna play something? All right. Ardent recruit, metalcraft. Ah. Is this a new, interesting version of artifacts that Galeb Cannon has been playing? He's playing with Ardent Recruit, Thraben Inspector, mixed with a bunch of One of Mines and Artifacts. So this is basically like Affinity, but a different type of splash. Uh, let's see here. We can bring this down. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, uh, I clicked the wrong one. Oops. I guess we're playing Muscle. I meant to do Gem Hide into Muscle into Viverlin. My bad, but we can attack in here at least. Double poisonous, no joke. Uh, just a misclick. Oopsies. All these green cards, they're so confusing. Can't make them out, they just all blend together. Yeah, I should have went gem hide into Predatory and Viverlint. Or Muscle and Viverlint, either one. But they are going to get the blocks going, they're scared of that poisonous. And we should be able to outrace Affinity just like we always do. Uh, their card draw engine is insane. Although the Vault Scourge is a new addition. I don't think Caleb was running Vault Scourge in his list. But uh, it'll take him a second to get online. And they need blue too. They need to... Although these aren't even the artifact lands. So is this even the affinity matchup? This is some kind of weird hybrid that I'm just like not worried about. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I mean, they're so slow right now, and we can just uh, steamroll them at the moment. I think I'm going to switch up the thumbnails now for these new episodes. Go more of the Simic Flash version of thumbnails that I've been doing. A little bit more beefier and uh, less of the verses in the title and stuff. I want to I wanna keep showcasing good artwork, and I'm getting sick of the uh, plain old boring thumbnails of... Just our Viverlint every every time. So I, I think I'm going to dedicate more time to making good creative thumbnails. Personal preference, but uh, might catch more viewers too if uh, they're all different. Because all these start to look the same after a while. So Flying in with the Vault Scourge, just grabbing one life. Uh, not worried about it whatsoever. Yeah, I, I don't know what to think about this. They should be playing Artifact Lands if this was the Affinity version. Well, all right, well, there's a Frogmite. This is still like the Affinity version, I guess, but maybe they just have more planes. All right, let's play our Gem Hide this time. <laughs> this guy's a 3-3. Three, three. We will get our Predatory out. And do we want a hunter to start sealing the deal here? Attack, attack. We still have decent attacks. That kind of bad blocks are going to have to double block one of our Viverlins, basically. So I'm fine with that. They're tapped out, so they double block with uh, a Frogmite and Ardent Recruit on a Viverlint. Probably just chump block another chump block, chump block another Viverlint, which is no big deal. Ah, yeah, probably do a block with Thraben and the Recruit. Might be better to keep their f artifacts on the board if they want to try to go off with two cards in hand <laughs> against a very powerful board. Yeah, we're, uh, we're putting them in a very bad position here. And this is fine. That's fine, that's fine. They're taking a bunch more poisonous. Trade off some creatures. But then we can slam a hunter next turn and just like completely decimate their board if we want. 
One turn, three cards. Four artifacts. Uh, this has Metalcraft 2 and Flying Sun Chaser. Okay. Glint Hawk. Okay. Bring bra bring back Frogmite recast him. That's cool. I like that. So mono white affinity? Or they just put back a clue? Couldn't they have just uh brought back Frogmite and then just recast him? Wouldn't have that been the best bet? That's fine. I mean we're gonna swing out anyways make them block with everything. Forest. All right. Add some red. Get our hunter out. Say goodbye to your precious board. Provoke you. Provoke you. Provoke you. Provoke you. Okay, Hunter. Okay, Hunter, do you. Uh, yes to all of these. Boom. They're just gonna have a Vault Scourge left on the battlefield with one card in hand. They're gonna have to crack a clue. Try to find something, but that's probably going to be a wrap. <clears throat> We're going for our 60th win with Nia Slivers. You got to love it. We'll leave a like for the 60th win if we can pull it off here. Boom. See you later. Land, that's good. Crack the clue. And concede. Yep. Alright, so. We'll bring in the spinnerets. We'll take out the sentinels. We'll bring in the gleefuls. Could bring in the prismatics as well. What do we need to cut here? A couple things. Cut one winding. One hunter? Just one? I don't know. Sure. <clears throat> I need to set up a sideboard guide for our matchups. That's what I really should be doing. Just so I can be more sure of my uh, my plays here. Feel free to comment on the sideboard options too. If you feel like there is a better choice to sideboard it, let me know. This is interesting. I think we can keep. Get our gem hide. Bunch of refill. Yeah, sure. This might be a... It's a bit of an awkward one. There's the ancient den. I was wondering where all those were. All right, we keep getting gem hides, so I suppose that's okay in case one dies. But we'll see. Bone Splitter. So, four artifacts. We may say a Frogmite. Or they're just going to go in. Just going to get in there. Fair enough. Take advantage of our weak mana supply. Another lead the Stampede. Okay. 
Yeah, let's just play out a gem hide early. We're going to take some uh, deep cuts here from this bone splitter. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four right now. Yeah, we could see a lot of stuff here. <clears throat> Go on the attack first, no problem. We're just setting up our board. Like I said, though, we're at 14. That's pretty hefty bone splitter. Might see some metal crafts coming out. Mounculagus, as long as you control another artifact, okay. And it's an artifact creature. That's nice for them. Ooh, a planes is fantastic here. Okay. So now we can just go... Oh, let's think about this here. How do I want to run this? Yeah, I think we just put out the creatures we have right now and set up for some big lead the stampedes next turn. Pass the turn. Doing something at the end of my turn. Got a cycle. Yeah, secluded steep. Step. Oh, there's a journey. Get in there. Five damage. We go to nine. Hmm. Sun Chaser flying. That's a problem. That's a very bad problem. That puts a clock on us no matter what here. Okay. Still going to lead the Stampede. Oh, those are some... Good hits. Full lead the Stampede. I like that. So we can play double plated. I think we play double plated here. Just get a few chump blockers. Take six. Board's gonna be massive next turn, but like if we can't if we can't find an answer for the Sun Chaser, it's gonna be all over. So we'll probably have to go lead the Stampede again. Thraben. They got clues to crack. One card in hand. They can crack a clue. Try to grab uh, an affinity guy. Ah, equipping to that. Okay. Yep, we're on a two-turn clock. I honestly just would have kept it on the Thraben and swung in with both. But I get why. I get why they did it. Oh... Ooh, that's cool. Haven't seen that card, Tooth. Gora, Affinity for Artifacts Flash. Gets plus one. Wow. And he's got two of them? Holy cow. Okay, we dead next turn. Holy cow. 
Wow. That's cool. That's good tech. I like that. Double flash. He just drew into that straight away. All right. We need to find an answer. There's our spinneret. Oh, thank goodness. All right. They're empty handed. So we can put him out. We're in a rough spot, though. Let's see this. So if we tap out for a predatory, we got two blockers, and then we just die. sucks that we're not going to be able to just oh i think let's see here i can play a sidewinder just to get out one more creature block everything take one no i think we're just dead no matter what aren't we because they can do this on any creature all right, we got to play uh, for the mistake because they can pump this on any creature. So we're we're ba we we are dead. We are dead technically uh, if they swing out and just pump whatever we don't block. But we're gonna play for the mistake. That's all. If they don't pump the right thing, then we go to one and whatever. Or if they don't attack with all, and they draw planes. They crack a clue. I'm going to try to, like, do the blocks fast just to see if they'll, like, skip through or something. <laughs> yep, attack all. Let's do this fast. Pass priority. Hope they don't pump the Thraven. They do. All right, cool. That's fine. We were playing for the mistake. That's all. Uh, I think we can run this back. I think I like what we had going on. I mean, we dug for the answer, but it was just a little too late. We needed it one turn earlier. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, sure. I can dig it. Let's see if they mulligan. Uh, they do not. Play Blossoming Pass. Another interesting um, deck choice that the person that just went 5 0, he was running a. A land card from Amaket or Hour of Devastation, one of the two, I forget, but it's a, a land that just taps for a brown mana, but you can also tap it and tap a untapped creature you control for one mana of any color. So it kind of goes with our tapping creatures for, for mana situation, uh, which is interesting. That's not like the best turn one play they could have, so that's pretty good. Planes. We're going to put out a forest. We're just going to go plated. Viverlint. Pass. If we get a gem hide, I'll, I'll do gem hide into lead the stampede. That'd be pretty dope. All right. Two artifacts. Brown mana. Looks like they had a keepable hand, but not the most powerful hand. We'll take two, though. Go 
Could be the flying guy. Is flying guy two mana? If it is, we're just going to be racing. We can start blocking the homunculus at least. Oh, Skyfisher. Okay. So you can uh, pop your Dark Steel back to hand, replay it. Oh, because he already played it for a turn. Yeah, his stuff's a little bit awkward, isn't it? Uh, Alright. Let's just go send you... Start getting the attack going. Yeah, I would love to see a gem hide next turn. That'd be ideal, I think. Oh, he's blocking. Don't need that Skyfisher, huh? That's a clock, man. He's scared, though. He's scared. Be scared. Journey. Goodbye, Sinew. We got a Lord on the way, though. Another Lord. Now I really want a gem hide. Maybe they just kept a handful of removal. I wonder if they're playing with Sunlance. Remember Sunlance? Classic green white sliver Sunlance. Yeah, we're just gonna play out what we have here. It's a decent board still. Poisonous flanking. All right. Put them to 14. We're winning the race. We'll see if they have another journey. Maybe they do. Kept a hand with a homunculus double journey. One planes, one dark steel. It makes sense. So, I want to see a gem hide or another land next turn, I think. Because we could go lead the stampede into like a two mana creature or two one mana creatures, which would be nice. Or if we get a gem hide, we can gem hide into lead the stampede and crank out that way. So, land or a gem hide, I think would be good. Thraben about to be chump blocking. Ah, Flare Husk. All right. Let's see if they start emptying their hand. One, two, three, four. Got any frog mites waiting to be expelled out? thing spinneret's good uh i think i'm still gonna lead the stampede though predatory predatory all right i like that uh we can fully attack in here And we just have a great board to smash two Predatories next turn.
Yep, Germ's gonna chump block. Is Thraben gonna chump block? Okay, take six. Three poisonous. Now you're at six poisonous, eight life. I think this game's a wrap, even if they've got a journey. We're just smashing two predatories and potentially a spinneret if we get a land. The spinneret sideboard plan, already seen play. Uh, almost saved us last game. <laughs> almost. One turn late, but it almost got us there. Player husk, sure. They're going to be disappointed if they attack in with the Sky Fisher. They're not safe whatsoever right now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, oh. All right. Okay. Swinging out. Taking five. Go to ten. Ugh. That's risky. You're just dead now. You just gave me the win. What can you do for one mana? Okay, sure. How many you got of these? Five, six. Not super worried about that. If you pass. Block one, go to two just as the board as it stands, but you know about... You, he knows about these double predatories. Maybe he's not paying attention, but he knows about these double predatories, so that was really foolish, in my opinion. Maybe he can do some kind of crazy life gain here, but I'm not sure how. Glint Hawk, what? Return Flare Husk, replay Flare Husk? That'd be good. Uh, wait. No, he can't. He can't do that. He's gonna replay... Okay. Sure, because he can flash that in, buff something once. That's not going to matter, though. None of this matters. You block two things. Oh, yeah. It's just over. Here's the lords that you knew about. I'll even show you one that you didn't know about, just to diversify a little bit. Confused. I'm confused, but yeah, he handed us that. I mean, we had it anyways. We were just about to pop off. I mean, we had another one on the way and a spinneret, so it didn't matter, but good game. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this new build of Affinity. It's interesting, um, and this isn't even the version that Caleb Gannon was running, uh, but go check him out if you're interested in good popper decks, some fun popper decks, but leave a like, let me know what you think of the new uh, changes to the deck, and we will see you guys in the next video.